Patrick McNeil back here with you at the intermission. It's time now for part two of our 10 questions with Eagles forward Cameron Henderson. Cameron, what is your favorite post-game meal? I wouldn't say I have a favorite post-game meal, but for pre-game, I'd say probably chicken alfredo. That's the regular routine then? You don't want to miss that? Yeah, good. I like asking the guys about older players to kind of test their memory of hockey. What does Cameron Henderson know of, or does he know who Milan Hajduk is? Say it again, please. Milan Hajduk. <clears throat> I do not know who it is. Won the Rocket Richard, Stanley Cup with Colorado, gold medal with the Czechs, bringing any bells? No, it doesn't. Usually ask about a guy who would have retired when you're around eight, so it's hit or miss with the guys know. You're not the first one to get that <laughs> wrong. I don't even know if we want to use that term. What's Cameron's favorite color? My favorite color is blue. The most popular answer, I would say, so far. When yeah. Asked. If you had the opportunity to be a ninja or a pirate, which would you rather be? I feel like I'd want to be a pirate more than a ninja. Do you think you'd be good at it? Yeah, I think it'd be good being a pirate. We'll watch. Maybe that'll be his next Halloween costume if he hasn't already done that. What about your favorite sport other than hockey? It'd be football or golf. Man of all sports then. That's good. Favorite place to go relax if you just want to unwind and kind of kick back and do nothing? Probably my bedroom. Watch Netflix or something. No one's going to bother you there. That's good. What is something you like or do that people would not expect from a hockey player? I like riding dirt bikes a lot and the motocross a little bit. Probably a big summer activity that I'm going to guess. Yeah. What's Cameron's best subject in school? Uh, I'm not sure. Not a big school guy? No, not really. Maybe history or something. As long as you're working on it, that's good. You get, <laughs> you actually had an interesting road to get to the Eagles because you get traded too late in the trade period to become a full-time member, and then you do get called up permanently. When you first yeah. got traded to the Eagles, who was the first person to message you welcoming you to Cape Breton? It would have been Sly, the GM there, because I think I was Sly when it was happening. So. Right. Do you remember which of the boys messaged you first? It was either Cam Squires or Will Shields, one of them too. They were probably found out at the same time, living in the same house. That would make sense. This, yeah. is, this is the last one for part two. You were wearing number 27 with the Eagles. Not sure how much choice you would have had to given you were called up midseason, but if you had the opportunity to wear any number, what would it be? I'd wear either number 24 or 28. Any significance yeah. behind those, or you just like how they look? I like number 24, so I've been wearing it since my first year band them, so. Just stick with what works. Thanks for letting us get to know you a bit, Cameron. Best of luck the rest of the season. A lot of problem. Thank you. That is Eagles forward Cameron Henderson joining us for 10 questions at the intermission. You're listening to Cape Breton Credit Union, Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCD.